Very good day to you people. My name is Mohit and guys today I'm going to show you how to get the um, typewriter effect or the keystroke effect uh, through Flash and Action Strip 3. In fact, uh, let me first show you a published preview of uh, how it will actually look when it's done. So hitting Control Enter on my keyboard guys, there you go. So that's a little bit about myself. I train guys in uh, Flash and Action Strip 3. Guys, the tutorial just preceding this one was also along the same lines the typewriter the keystroke effect but that was done using the arrays now this has been done using the Tama class uh, does not use the array all right so uh, that again is a must watch pretty useful so is this one guys this is much simpler this does not use the uh, clicker sound or the clicking sound of the keyboard or the typewriter but that one does okay so anyways so it's, it's pretty simple let's see how it was actually done guys so all I did was uh, the flash stage which is usually white which is to start uh, you know to start with this white I've actually changed it to black through changing uh, the background color coming out here and changing the background color that was the first thing that I did I left the size be at the default 550 by 400 pixels that's fine and then guys I dropped in a text field by clicking on the text tool and making it almost the size of the stage alright and uh, I've, I've given it an instance name my text and guys please notice it's set to classic and dynamic that's important Guys, also notice that uh, the font family is Century Gothic Bold, and I've actually gone ahead and embedded the font. <coughs> Embedding the font is pretty simple. All you need to do is you just need to come out here and say uh, character ranges all, and then say OK. And guys, when a certain font is embedded, it should appear in the library like this. OK, I've actually deliberately given it a name century gothic but if you do it it might appear as font one which is fine which is fine right but it should appear in the library that means it's actually been embedded all right embedding is extremely important guys anyway so the font size that i've used is uh, 20 the color is kind of green okay make sure it's not selectable guys i've set it to align left okay i've set them left and the right margins at 10 pixels each for this text field called my text and uh, let's have a look at the timeline it just has one single layer guys which is hosting the text field in fact let me give it a name text f i e l d text field cool all right that's all that it has uh, it actually has the script as well <laughs> so yep it's text field and the script so script as well okay so it's, it's both uh, it's, it's hosting both the text field as well as the action script so let me just uh, show you the actions panel now there you go guys uh, let me expand this area cool now guys let's understand uh, the very short code that is required to fire off this kind of a function the typewriter keystroke effect okay line number four actually declares a variable uh, that I've set to zero cool I've not declared the type it's not compulsory uh, line number five actually declares one more variable my string which is of the type string and then I've typed in a string guys now this string is something that you would change uh, according to what you want to appear okay but what you would not change is the forward slash the backslash n the backslash n now or the backslash n as uh, it appears out here the backslash n as it appears out here and uh, three backslash n's that appear out here you wouldn't be changing that I'll tell you why backslash n stands for um, a line break so when you have two ends out here uh, it means that you're actually looking for a double line break and out here I'm looking for a triple line break okay 
if you don't want line breaks feel free to just completely avoid them that's absolutely all right all right so the string is something that you are going to choose as per your custom requirement cool now guys this is a standard uh, timer okay but uh, the trick is out here the trick is out here uh, I'll tell you uh, see line number seven instantiates a timer so I'm declaring a variable my timer of the type timer and making it equal to a new timer and I'm firing the timer at 50 milliseconds right at every at, at, at every 50 milliseconds got now guys this is something that you can alter and depending on what you actually want you can drop the speed you can uh, propel the speed you can give it some impetus some momentum but that's entirely up to you if this was not 50 let's say if it were 500 and if I were to hit control enter let's see what would happen so the typewriter the keystroke effect actually slows down uh, tremendously right so let me reset it back to the way it was it was 50 and guys see whenever you are uh, using a timer there are two uh, parameters that you need to uh, feed and the first parameter is the delay which we have set to 50 and I'm pretty happy with the the speed which I get at 50 but the second parameter is the repeat count now I've kept the repeat count equal to my string dot length okay now this string out here which is my string obviously it would have a length depending on the number of characters that are inside so I've um, made sure that the timer function fires off at uh, my string dot length. Cool. And then, guys, uh, I've added an event listener. Yeah, you let, let me talk about my string dot length once again. The reason why I've kept it equal to the length is every time the, fi uh, the timer fires, it's going to pick up one single character, one single letter. And uh, once it's done with each and every character, I want the timer to stop. So that's why the repeat count is equal to my string dot length. Cool. Now next what I've done is I've added an event listener, a timer event actually, and uh, every time the timer fires after 50 milliseconds, guys, a function called timer handler will be executed. Okay, let's see what it actually does. Uh, the function timer handler it appends the text field which is my text this text field out here one single big text field out here uh, has been given an instance name my text and uh, it actually appends that using the <coughs> append text uh, method and guys when you use the append text method you need to pass in a string and uh, let me explain what my string dot character at char at means character at i now this i if you remember in, in line number four we had declared it made it equal to zero so it will extract the character from my string which is this long string and the character at i is character at zero so the the character at zero is actually this letter m the indexing actually starts from 0 not 1 so it's going to pick up this um, character m and then guys what i've done out here in line number 14 is i've appended uh, or i've increased or incremented i by 1 so that's i plus plus that's the math way of doing it the math class uses the i plus plus method all right to increment so the next time the timer fires this i actually becomes one then two then three then four which means that it's going to pick up m then o then h then i then t so on and so forth till it actually uh, picks up each and every letter and once it has fired off according to my string dot length it'll come to a halt because uh, the second parameter is the repeat count which I've made equal uh, to my string dot length very cleverly. All right, so there you go. And um, once uh, all the characters are exhausted, and they will exhaust themselves because of this uh, 
my string dot length uh, that I've used as the repeat count. The timer stops firing and uh, we are done. Cool. So before I actually uh, terminate this tutorial guys, uh, let me show you our published preview once again. So hitting control and on my keyboard to show it to you. Hey, here goes. Uh, the, these are uh, the, these are the you know the the subjects that I teach the the fee structure the course duration all right I teach face to face and for guys who cannot uh, actually appear face to face I do tra uh, train them uh, online using uh, Skype screen share all right guys so i hope you uh, enjoyed this tutorial guys i hope you learned something from it and i hope to see you very very soon once again you have a very good day bye bye peace